Welcome back to Blyle Dev. This is Bo again. Today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, move on to another uh, view controller and how to return to a previous view controller inside uh, an iOS app. And so I've already set up a couple things here in a project of my own. Um, I have two view controllers here. You can see these different screens. Um, and the next button, I'm going to want it to transition into this view controller. And upon clicking this little back arrow, I want it to return to the previous. And so I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. Um, and there's a couple of different ways you can do it, but these are the most simple ways to do it and it's, it makes life a lot easier. And so really simply, I have a button here, it's called Next. You don't need to do any sort of action or anything like that. You can and write out the transition programmatically. And I would recommend doing that if you uh, are intending on maybe going to multiple different kinds of screens. But for our case, since we just have one screen we wanna to go to, I can simply control drag to the next screen and I can say show. And you can see here, this is a transition, it says show segue to view controller. And so what it's gonna do is upon clicking the next button, it's gonna send us to this view controller. And we can see that here in our simulator. It's gonna open up an iPhone 7 Plus simulator. And while we're waiting for that to load, um, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the back button. Um, we're actually gonna do that one programmatically and with the main storyboard. The cool thing with Xcode is you can you can do everything by uh, code alone if you'd like to. However, it's not necessary. There's a lot of different things you can do simply in your storyboard and it makes life a lot easier. And so here we go, it's been pulled up. I'm gonna click the next button and there we go. We've gone to the next page. And since I haven't done anything with the back button right now, you see pushing it doesn't do me anything. So I'm kind of stuck here as of right now. So I'm just gonna close out of that and let's go to our view controller .swift file. This is for our first screen that we have. I'm just gonna get a little bit of spacing here. And I've actually already gotten the text we want written out, the, the simple function command that we're gonna call. You wanna do at IBA, IB action function unwind from next VC. Honestly, the name of this doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you want. The important thing is that in parentheses you have unwind segue semicolon UI storyboard segue. And so that's the important thing to have. And so I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna go back to my main storyboard now that I have that there. I'm gonna click on this back arrow. I'm gonna control drag it up here to the very far right icon on the, or on the uh, view controller. And you can see here it says action segue. And I'm gonna click unwind from next VC with unwind segue. Perfect. And now what we have here is upon clicking this back button, it should send us back to the previous screen. And so let's see that in the simulator, see that that works properly. Alrighty, and like I've mentioned in previous videos, depending on the type of computer that you have, what, what version of Mac you have, uh, what version of Xcode you have, it can take some time to load the uh, simulator sometimes. Okay, so we go to our next screen and let's test going back. Perfect. And I can do this infinitely, um, so I can just go back and forth, back and forth as much as I want. And so that's it. Uh, that's the basics in regards to move transitioning between uh, forward and backwards between different view controllers. I uh, hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to message me below, and I'd be happy to help.